Oh well, they have done it again, haven't they? Yeah, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got news, big news, good news. The news is, we've got a new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 add-on plane. Brand new release by the good old company called PMDG. They are a very big name in the flight simulator community. They have never made anything bad, I think. And well, they are, they are pretty big indeed. They even have a Wikipedia article. Not even I have a Wikipedia article. So they are pretty big and pretty serious. So we are are all of course very 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 excited for them to finally release a brand new add-on plane for the flight simulator you know it's been out for a year now the flight simulator yeah almost I think yeah last summer somewhat and developers have really had some time now to get some good planes out there like this one this is the McDonnell Douglas DC-6 a plane from 1946 as you can I don't I don't know if you can visually tell that but this is a very complex aircraft I mean we can take a bit of a look into the cockpit Pit. This is not easy and not easy for my computer as you can see right here I'm running this on ultra 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 on like an RTX 3080 I think 90? Not quite sure. It's a very powerful graphics card that I do have, and this thing is actually struggling. I don't know if it's gonna explode any second, this computer, but we're gonna find out. What the? I mean, uh, especially now we're also in London City too, so it's a bit of a challenge for this computer. But no, really, every switch here works. Um, this is the panel lighting. I don't know what that does. Oh, that's the feather. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, everything works. They are really not kidding. They are genuinely not kidding. This is probably genuinely the most complex flight simulator model we have had so far. This is absolutely amazing. Even these. You guys, we've got an alarm. It's off. Great. And oh my god, can do these switches work here too? Even these work. Holy moly. That is just absolutely crazy. All right, this is definitely a very serious plane. Now, I forgot to, by the way, mention the price so far. <laughs> oh, it's $55 here, which is not that bad. It actually used to be $59, which is interesting. I mean, when was that? This plane has only been out for a few hours now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Damn, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, 55 is quite a bit of a price for, you know, a software product, of course, but this is genuinely worth it. We have to say that. I mean, just the first impression pretty much tells everything about this plane. What What is this here? Oh, wow. Even the damn, the armrests even work. <laughs> it's just absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and just take off. All right, good. All right. All the four engines here, the propeller engines here of this aircraft are coming up. This is, I think, a piston engine aircraft. I mean, this is from 1946. This is, of course, a piston aircraft. But I haven't told you this yet. This is actually the cargo variant of this plane. Of course, we also have a passenger variant. So it's like A and B shipped in the flight simulator and I've released the parking brake. This is now the problem. This plane is so complex that I don't know where- Okay, this is the park. I found the parking brake. Good. But really, finding every switch can be a bit of a hurdle, I think. I'm very much excited to do, of course, a full flight with this plane in a live stream, for example. Now, uh, let's take off from this runway here in London City. Not the longest runway, so I'm just hoping that this is going to work, actually. Which it- Oh, damn. This could actually get close. Wait, no, just take off already. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not work- Is my joystick connected? Cause my <laughs> Wait, I think I think I have no control of the plane. Have I done something wrong? As you can tell, I'm a very good reviewer of aircraft models. This is actually does not work. Maybe like there's some control lock here. I really don't know. What we also have here is this iPad. Yeah, let's just ignore that we have no control of this flying plane. Uh, here we can do a lot, apparently. We also have this uh, artificial flight engineer that helps us fly this plane around. As I've already told you guys, this is an incredibly complex aircraft. So uh, yeah, uh, 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 some help from a flight engineer is probably good. Uh, I think I've overstressed the engines, haven't I? Let me just check this here. Engine stress visualizer. Oh, something is wrong, everybody. Um, this is, of course, a very great review, but we've lost power on some of the engines. Actually, I have, I'm lost right now. Yeah. What this plane also, of course, has, as you could just tell, obviously, is an engine stress simulation. So if you overstress the engine, I was actually uh, flying this plane at 100% power for several minutes now. That, of course, kills engines like this. You're not supposed to do that. And, uh, we just learned that. It's great to learn in life. <laughs> yeah. All right, but let's do finally some serious flying. I've managed to make the joystick work. That's great. Yeah, right now we are approaching Gibraltar Airport. Yes, it's finally time again to test the runway performance, which I don't know. Actually, no one asked for the <laughs> runway performance, but let's find out if uh, this plane actually can land on a short runway. The thing is, of course, this is again a piston engine aircraft, I think. I mean, yeah, of course it is. Which, of course, sadly means that we don't have any reverse thrust, right? Which uh, means we have a little bit of a worse stopping performance than other turboprops. 
approach planes, okay? So just come in and uh, see if this plane stops or something. What this plane can do apparently is fly a little bit slower. So we're gonna cash like 80 knots, which is absolutely slow indeed. That's actually really nice. So let's try to come in here for this runway. Now, all right, let's go ahead and touch down. That's not been particularly smooth. Now full into the brake. Let's see how this plane stops. And it stops very nicely. That <laughs> barely took a runway at all. Let's take a little bit of a look at the replay here, of course. Interesting landing. Oh, I like this plane. I like how slowly it flies. That's been a bit of a hard landing, though. But that doesn't really matter. I see. I like. I not Nice. All right. So it's time to get this plane landed on short runways. We found another favorite aircraft, people. Yeah. Damn, this is really good. All right, then. So I guess it's time again to go absolutely ridiculous and stupid and land on a 500 meter long runway on a mountain. Very sloped runway indeed here at Courchevel. Airport help. Oh, don't die. Okay, let's come, <laughs> come for a landing. Good. Let's do this. All right, that's been a bit of a quick, a bit of a hop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like this plane even more. Yep, what generally just happened there was I landed this plane too hard and the landing gear fell apart. Like, damn, that's crazy. We, we, we've not ever seen that before in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, right? Landing gear that's a little bit sensible and actually responds to how you fly. That is how I like it. Let's maybe now try to land this plane a bit smoother now. Wait, I think I, I, think I broke this again. This has been a bad landing. Way too fast. All right, <clears throat> go around. All right, so you gotta be very careful with this plane. I like that that. Okay, that's been all right. That's been all right of a touchdown. Let's go ahead and stop. Come on, stop. There we go. Yeah. Now, what I would like to check out is uh, if we can actually take a bit of a look into the cabin, too. No option for that. So, apparently, the cabin is not accessible, but it, you can actually see it here. It looks quite nice. No problem at all with this plane. <sighs> oh, well, then. It is time now to go to the Caribbean here. Welcome to Saba Airport. It's right here. Shortest runway on the planet, 300 meters long. Let's see if this is going to be a problem for this ridiculously quickly stopping airliner. Damn, this plane really is quite something, right? I mean, it's got so much magic to it. You know what I mean? It's, it's absolutely crazy and just how it looks. I'm, I, I love this. This is really, this is, wow, I'm, I'm just blown away, right? They have absolutely done a fantastic job, uh, but this, of course, does take a bit of uh, time to learn to fly, right? In fact, this is how one of the streams will go, probably, the Madagascar plane crash, and we should probably land the plane. <laughs> Great. Man, I just love how slow this plane is, although it can carry quite a bit of passengers, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, I've been able to fly planes like the Concorde and X-Plane, so I'm, <laughs> maybe I can, I can learn how to do this too. Yeah, let's come in for a landing. Ooh, no, that hasn't been good. That hasn't been good. That hasn't been good. That hasn't been good. That it has really but not been good. We stopped. That's great. Ah, but I just look. I mean, I just want to look how beautiful this is. Uh, apparently, our uh, landing gear survived this interesting landing that we just did. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Burkowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Cheese Doritos, Shadow, Anime Planes, Razor One, X Men Show, Lair, the Slama, Futuring, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.